Hello there, this is DBT, and these are the rooms. And alright, today I will be upgrading this car, the Verzilla P1, from the stock rank all the way to Pro, but using it as a guide on how to upgrade cars in the game. Because of this, the video will be divided into two main sections. The first part will be showing the upgrade requirements and explaining how upgrading works. This is aimed towards the newer players, since this upgrade process can be quite confusing if you're not familiar with it. And then the second part will be explaining how to upgrade cars with direct upgrades in the most efficient way, as well as showing visually how many resources you will be saving by doing so. Now, if you happen to find any of this information useful, make sure to hit the like button as well as subscribing to the channel for more asphaltate content. All right. Let's talk about upgrading a car. Like I said, I'm going to be upgrading this thing, the Fordzilla P1, which is a car from Class A. But the information that I will provide on how to upgrade cars, it's basically transferable between any and all of the classes of cars with some small uh, differences, but I'll talk about that later. So there's four main parts that you need to upgrade. The tires, the suspension, drive train, and the exhaust. Now, real quick. If you're going to upgrade a car, you may not see some of the buttons that I have, like this thing of ultimate upgrade or this thing over here. This is because these are items that I have for having played the game for a long time. It's resources that I've been saving. You're probably not going to see those buttons, but you are going to see this side. And this is what matters because these are the parts that you need in order to upgrade a car. Now, to show all of those parts to you, I'm going to do it from my inventory where I have a ton of parts. And for example, right here, you can see this is the drivetrain, this is the exhaust, the uh, suspension, tires, and then there's the shared uh, parts for between all of this, which is the tech right here, and then the engine. On top of that, you are also going to need car specific kits, like the ones I have right here at the bottom left. This is a kit for the Ford Zilla, and you can see I also have a kit, some kits, for a different car. This is the DS E10's performance, but obviously the one we care, it's this one. So those are the main, main parts that you are going to need. Now, as a quick side note, uh, you can also acquire some of these kits specific to a car by using wild cars. You go into the wild cars, you go into convert, and then you have the option to, to convert uh, any amount, well, a certain amount of your wild cards into kits for a particular car um, by spending some credits. So that's how you turn these things into kits that you're gonna need for a car. So, all right, that is the basics of upgrading. Now, I'm gonna show you a chart on how much or how many parts are required in order to upgrade a car. So for the sake of this example, I'm showing on this side uh, that we're gonna be doing drive trains, which is this thing you can see over here. So I am on level zero, um, actually, it doesn't show. There we go. We, I am currently on level zero. So in order to upgrade to level one, it says that I require one of these parts, which is the tech, one engine, and one drivetrain. So I'm going to write it down over here. I'm going to need one part, the, the drivetrain. I'm going to need one tech and one engine. And on top of that, I need, in this case, 200, 220,000 fusion coins. So there we go. This is what is required in order to upgrade it to level one. Now, for level two, it's something very similar, just that the amount of parts um, goes increasing. So for level two, we're going to need two, uh, two drivetrains, two techs, two engines, and the fusion coins remain the same number. I think you can see where this is going. For the level three, we're going to need three, 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 and again, 220. For level four, we're going to need four, 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 220. And then on level five, we're going to need five parts, in this case, drivetrain, five techs, five engines, and again, 220,000 fusion. Now, from here onwards is where things change, because you can see I haven't used a single kit just yet. So for the first five levels, you're not going to need kits. You're only going to need the specific part along with techs and engines. In level six, you're going to start needing the kits, but you need six of the parts, in this case, drivetrain. You don't need tech or engines anymore, but you need six kits right here and of course the fusion coins as well and then from there onwards i think you can kind of figure out what's happening right you're gonna need seven of these then seven kits plus 200 and 220 000, then eight uh eight parts eight kits 220 000, 
nine parts, nine kits, 220,000. And finally, for the last level, you're going to need 10, 10, and of course, more fusion. So this is basically all the parts that are required. And you can see over here at the bottom, it shows precisely how many, um, the, the grand total of how many of these parts are needed. Now, that means that you're going to need... In total, 55 drive trains, you're gonna need 15 techs, and you're gonna need 15 engines, as well as 40 kits, in order to upgrade one of the four parts that uh, each car has. Because remember, there is, again, the tire, suspension, drive train, and exhaust. So, if we're gonna look at it as to how many parts you need in total to upgrade the whole thing, well, it goes like this, and... Now, this number of 220, kind of ignore it for now because you don't need 220 uh, of, of drive trains. You need 55 drive trains, you need 55 exhaust and whatnot. But just to give you an idea of how much is needed. Uh, then for techs, uh, you're going to need a grand total of 60, 60 engines and a grand total of uh, 160 kits, as well as 8.8 .8 million fusion coins in order to upgrade the car. Now, again, this is just for class A, which is the second most expensive cars to upgrade. Um, cars in lower classes have different prices, so they're a little bit cheaper, depending, obviously, on which class you are doing. So this is just to give you an idea of all the parts that are required in order to upgrade the cars. It's a lot of resources, and I just wanted to give you this, this bit of information so that you know when you're going to be starting to need the kits. Because this is a question that I've seen a lot of times. Like, hey, I got some kits and I want to upgrade my car. But turns out that you barely have upgraded to, well, nothing at all. And it's like, yeah, but um, the kits, I don't, I can't use the kits. Because you can see it doesn't say anything. Yeah, because you don't need it. You're going to need the kits until you're on level 5 and you're going to upgrade to level 6. So there you go. That is basically the how you upgrade cars. Now, the difference between the classes is that when you are upgrading a car from class um, S, A, and B, you need, um, obviously, uh, the, the correct um, tier of upgrade. This is for class A, but if you're upgrading class S, you need class S. You, you understand that, right? But uh, I'm making a bit of a, a, a parenthesis here because when you're upgrading a car from, a car from class C, there's no such thing as engines in class E, so you don't need any of this. For class E, you're only going to need the parts, tech, and eventually kits. And of course, fusion coins. And if you're upgrading class D cars, you don't need techs either. So you're only going to need parts, eventually you're going to need kits, and fusion coins. So that's the only thing that I wanted to make mention on, or that those two classes are a little bit different. But from the most part, or for the most part, uh, this is just the general idea of how this whole thing works. So now that we know how many parts are required in order to upgrade um, a car, at least one of the fourth sections of a car, uh, now we're going to have a look as to how to upgrade cars with direct upgrades in a smart way. And obviously you can see that I have a ton of direct upgrades over here, 117, so I could literally just spend 40 direct upgrades and take this thing to pro without spending a single bit of fusion coins or anything. But most people are not in this situation. Most people are only going to have some small amount of direct upgrades. And my point of making this video is precisely to show you how to use them in the most effective way possible so as to not waste them. Now, this that I'm going to show you, it's something that obviously if you have been playing this game and upgrading cars, it's going to be pretty much instinctual for you. You're going to understand what this is about. But I'm making this video precisely to show people that may not have thought about it in this way so that you can visually see how much of a difference it makes where you use your direct upgrades. So, coming back to this, uh, this spreadsheet, let's say that I have one direct upgrade. We know that all of this is what is required in order to upgrade um, uh, one part of the car, right? So, let's say that I'm going to start upgrading it because I haven't upgraded it at all. So, I'm going to use my direct upgrade right here on the first level. And... This, this removes all of these requirements, right? So over here at the bottom, you can see um, how many resources are still needed. Obviously, if I use the direct upgrade in the first tier, I'm going to be only saving one of this part, one tech, one engine, and obviously the fusion coins. This is always, you know, a given. But you can see that the difference isn't very, very much. Now, let's say that I don't have one, but I have three direct upgrades, right? 
And okay, so you know what? I'm gonna use my three direct upgrades over here and you know, save all of these resources, which looks like a lot. But if you notice, um, I still need to spend all of this, which is 49 parts over here, uh, instead of 55. So I basically just saved six. Same situation over here. I only need nine where uh, before I needed 15. So I only saved six. Same situation over here. And obviously the fusion coin. So I'm not saving a lot of anything by doing this at all. And just to give you an idea, here we go with the visual representation. So, let's say, in this case, the total amount of parts needed, I'm going to be talking, for example, over here, but for these parts. The maximum amount needed is 55. How many parts am I going to be using because I use my three direct upgrades over here and I save this? Well, I still need to use 49 parts. This is how much I save. This is how much, the blue part, is how much I still need to spend or how many parts I still need. Now, again, let's imagine that um, I only have one direct upgrade. So let's say that I use, again, my direct upgrade at the very start. Well, then we have 54 parts that we're going to still need to use. This is all that you're saving by using your direct upgrade in the very first level. You're saving a grand total of 1.8%. You still need to invest 98.2% of the parts in order to... to um, and again, I'm just talking about this particular... In this case, the drivetrain. I'm not counting the text or engine. But we can make an exercise uh, in the same situation. Where the maximum amount of text that would be required... Um, for example, over here, the maximum amount that will be required will be 15. And because I use my direct upgrade here, now I only need 14. But you can still see that I say very little, and there's still a lot, a lot to use. So, then what do we do? Well, you don't use it at the start. You use the direct upgrades at the end. And I do mean at the end, at the very end. So, let's say that I use my direct upgrade over here. So, this removes all of these requirements right there so again it is clear that i saved some right but how much did i save well again considering that the parts in this case the drive train i needed 55 total but i saved 10 i used 45 parts well there we go this is all that i saved i mean there's still a lot that i need to to apply right but comparing this, I saved 18% versus if I had done it over here in the level 1, I would have said, what did we say? 1.8%. Um, so you can see this is a, a lot more saving. It's literally 10, 10 times more, right? That is very easy to understand. But what is not so easy to understand is how that scales on using more upgrades. Remember that I gave you the example of using three direct upgrades over here. But what happens if I use three direct upgrades at the end instead? Well, now I only use 28 parts. Oh, you see the difference now. By using these three direct upgrades at the end, I'm saving almost half of all of these parts that I need. Oh, but it goes farther than that. Because I'm only considering this. I'm not even considering the kits. So, let me undo this a little bit. And, okay, we're back here. So, the maximum, we're going to count now the kits. The maximum amount of kits that you need, the sum, the sum of all of this is 40 kits, right? So, 40 kits that we're going to be needing. So, if I use one direct upgrade over here, well, now I only need 30. And literally, obviously, one quarter is saved. But, again, if I have or I use the direct upgrades at the end, three direct upgrades, now it's only 13. And guess what? I saved 67% of all the kits needed. And now I only need to use 32% of them, meaning I only need to use 13 instead of 40. It's a huge, huge difference. And again, I, as I was saying, I understand that this is very easy to understand if you have been playing this game and upgrading cars, but I wanted to make it in this way so that you can see very, very, very clearly how much it is that you will be saving by using your direct upgrades at the end rather than at the start because i know a lot of people get excited the moment that you get a direct upgrade they're like oh i want to upgrade my fordzilla uh i haven't upgraded it at all but all right i'm gonna use my direct upgrade over here and guess what your savings will be absolutely nothing yeah you're gonna be saving the fusion coins 
But this amount of fusion coins, you're going to save it here or here or here or here or anywhere. It's the same amount of fusion coins. But the part, this is what really changes. But if you want to see it in an even more dramatic way, again, remember that I'm showing you only one single part. Because, well, obviously, I'm talking about drive train. But over here, if I open this again, it's going to show me the total times four because I'm considering that it's going to be all four parts, meaning uh, the drive train, the, the exhaust, suspension, and the other one that I'm forgetting. All those four parts. And that's why 220, I mean, it's 55 times four. That's 220 uh, for text. Actually, I wrote this wrong, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, one, two, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> for tech i need 15 uh times 4 that's 60 for engines i need 15 times 4 that's 60 kits i need 40 times 4 that is 160 kits and obviously the fusion coins times 4 this is how much 8.8 .8 million fusion coins. so this is everything that you need in order to upgrade the car fully from zero to a hundred percent right so let's talk about again using three direct upgrades in the opposite sides. So we're gonna put a direct upgrade here, another one here and another one here. So this removes all of this, right? Well, then we have that uh, we needed, how much? 220 parts, right? So we needed 220 and now I use 196 because again, I had to apply all of this times four. So that gives us that we save 11%. We still need to, to apply basically 90% of all of the upgrades. If we look at the, well, the kits don't even apply. If we look at tech and engines, um, we got 36. So the grand total, we said that we needed 60 in total, right? And we're going to be using 36 instead. So I did save a bunch, but not a ton. I mean, yeah, it's a good bunch for sure. But again, it's so much more effective if you use the direct upgrades at the end. So let's see that. Again, all the information is full or filled. And we use the direct upgrades. Only, let's just use one single direct upgrade. Well, guess what? We went from needing 220 parts to needing 180. Obviously, this means one direct upgrade at the end for each one of the parts, meaning I need a total of four direct upgrades, one for for uh, the drive train, one for the, you know, all of that stuff. But again, you can see now one single direct upgrade. Well, it saved me almost 20%, almost one fifth of all of the upgrading in terms of this part. Um, but let's again do it in the most using three direct upgrades per part, meaning you need a total of 12 direct upgrades, just 12 direct upgrades. We needed 220 parts, but now we're only using 100, oh, geez, I, I wrote it wrong, 112. And again, we're saving half, half the parts that we needed. So I no longer need 55 uh, drive trains. Now I only need 28. I don't need 55 um, exhaust. Now I need 28. You see how it's a huge difference. But again, if we look at it in the in the kits, we said that we needed a total of, what was it? 160 kits, right? So let me get rid of this. We need 160 kits if we were to upgrade normally. Now we only need 52. We are saving a tremendous amount of kits. And that obviously means that if you're using wildcards, you're saving a lot of those wildcards. You're saving a lot of credits and conversion. You're saving a ton of resources. Granted, the price is still going to be the same in terms of fusion coins wherever you use the direct upgrade, whether you use it here, here, or at the top. But you can see that the amount of parts that I'm going to be needing massively, massively decrease. Again, just remembering that the grand total over here would have been 220 and the grand total over here would have been 160. Yeah, I do need 60 techs and 60 engines. That didn't affect at all. But, I mean, let's let's be real over here. Yeah, it might. it's not super difficult to get tech or engines in the game. Um, and 60 that you're going to need in total compared to 200 and some, you're saving a ton more by doing it this way. And this is actually how... I've been using my own upgrades.
So much so that that is exactly what I'm going to be doing over here. So it's time to start upgrading this thing. And I'm just going to show you the upgrading of one part because otherwise it's going to take a very, very long time to do all of them because there's a little bit of a delay. So what I do is I upgrade a part all the way to seven. Obviously, I not always do it all at once. I do it in between several days or many days or whatever. Right now, for the sake of just showing you the upgrading, well, I'm, I'm doing it this way. So I do upgrade with fusion coins and resources for basically the cheapest upgrades all the way to level seven, six and seven. And right there, I'm in this position. I already applied this one. Next one is to upgrade to level eight. And here's where I start using the direct upgrades. So I'm going to use three direct upgrades. And there you go. I did not need 160 kits. Well, or in this case, um, how much is it? Ah, however many, 40, 40 kits. I didn't need that. I only needed how many? 13 kits per part, only 13 kits. So it does make a difference. So let me finish upgrading this and yeah. Now, you know what? I'm gonna show you the process of upgrading it because I think this will be good. Again, for somebody that doesn't know how this, this work, you're gonna be seeing how it costs, how these things continue increasing on numbers. And the reality is that I'm also doing this because like I said, I need to upgrade the Forzilla in order to participate in the last stage of the special event and hopefully get some additional direct upgrades, which sounds kind of silly. I'm spending 12 direct upgrades on this car um, to just win back three. But at the end of the day, I did want to upgrade this car anyway. So this is fine. I, uh, the, the ultimate objective for me is to have the cars upgraded. So spending um, in this way, it's fine by me. And like I said, I'm only spending 12 direct upgrades, 12. And yet I'm saving basically half of the of the parts in kits, more than half the kits um, that I would normally need. So that's why I wanted to make this video dedicated exclusively to the upgrading process to show you what is my logic behind it. Because again, I've seen a lot of people that are very happy to just upgrade or use the direct upgrades at any given moment because oh i just i just got one let me use it no don't use it save it um it's not gonna use a lot of space in your inventory and speaking of space on the inventory um again the fact that you don't need as many parts means that you don't need as much space on your inventory i didn't need 160 uh slots in my inventory available to just for the kits I didn't need 220 um, uh, slots available in my inventory for for the, the the drive trains or the exhaust or whatever. So this is also an economical way of you know managing your inventory. In this case, well, you know, one single item, one single direct upgrade, it's occupying like 20 some 20 at the worst or at the most 20 slots because it's gonna represent. Uh, 20, uh, 10 uh, exhaust and uh, 10 kits. I, I hope I I'm explaining, I I'm doing a decent job at explaining what I'm talking about with the saving space on your inventory, but if it doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. My point is that you should plan a little bit on how you want to upgrade things in order to make the most of both your fusion coins, your resources, but importantly, these things, the direct upgrades, because they're incredibly valuable. But they become much more valuable the later uh, in the upgrade process that you use it. Obviously, if you, um, I just gave you the example of using it. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, I'm missing two kits of this. Oh, this is a good moment to to show the conversion. Wait a second, I think I thought I had some on my inbox over here because I still have a bunch of things that I. Oh no, I'm out of of kits. No worries, I can convert um, a couple of these things to Fortzilla kits. So where is my Forzilla? There it is. So I only need two more. So again, um, I'm only giving you the example of using three direct upgrades per uh, per part. Now, if you have more direct upgrades, well, then just go ahead and use them, use them even more. But I wanted to show you what you can do with a very small amount of direct upgrades. With 12 direct upgrades, you can still do a lot or make a lot of progress so long as you are patient enough to wait until uh to wait to use them 
until they're the most effective. And I think that is the, the main thing, that you must focus not on upgrading fast. And in fact, how about we make that the key phrase for the day? If you want to get a heart and a pin on this video, you need to leave me the key phrase, which for today is going to be, don't upgrade fast. You'll be better by upgrading smart. So there you go. Uh, the Fordzilla P1 fully upgraded, pro out. And like I said, this was my intention to do uh, from the get. I wasn't going to be trying to get into uh, MP tunes or anything. That wasn't the purpose of this video. That's why I didn't care for it at all. Um, that's a completely different topic. Maybe I'll make a video on it at some other point, though I already kind of made one. But anyway, um, no, my objective was just to pro this thing so that I can use it in the special events in the very last stage do the competition and hopefully get it into maybe 10% so that I can get some direct upgrades here and there. But yeah, I just wanted to give you this information as to how it is that I upgrade cars, how you can save a lot of resources by using those direct upgrades smartly rather than just using them in the first moment that you own. Now, once again, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful or anything like that, then please go ahead and subscribe to the channel like this video and tell me in the comments what you thought about this whole thing. Would you like me to make more videos where I try to explain some of these things that for a lot of people is going to be obvious. But again, my point is to show it to people that maybe haven't thought about it. Let me know in the comments. But well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.